Good morning. So uh, let's uh, get back to finishing off Snippy Pixie next um, little package of um, kind of a library functions um, so that we can get on to actually building the uh, daemon and CLI. So we want to go into the ID. Let's see where we were yesterday. Okay. So we've got our little uh, library of snippet um, functions for adding and getting and updating and removing um, snippets. Um, and we have a little bit of uh, sort of startup code when you connect to this snippet manager where it checks the database and makes sure it's up to scratch with uh, what it needs um, but we've not really done anything there to make sure it can migrate old ones um, and it's not doing any actual checks at the moment it's just bare bones create the tables off we go because all our tests at the moment are just doing an in-memory nude database. Um, so there's never any tables. Um, so we need to fix that. We need to make sure that it can work with existing databases, with existing data. Um, so uh, let's write some tests um, to make it fail. Um, and then we'll crack on and make it pass. So at the moment we're doing, we've got no tests, we've got no check in here to see whether there's any like settings table which holds the schema version um, and or any other tables. Um, so that's probably the first thing we needed to do. Uh, we need to implement some way of getting this um, current schema version number, which eventually will be a um, select for the schema version setting. Uh, which we then update as a, as required. Um, so let's do something in here. So at the moment we've got some super simple brand new database. Do the thing. We've got, if there's no database being passed in, um, and then if we close the database before passing it in, we've got a test for that too. What we now need to do um, is pretend that the database is already created, um, and then get the version. So there's a couple of things we probably need to do here then. We probably need to refactor out this. Um, refactor? Factor out. There's a little bit of um, initial code so that we can just use it in the test uh, before the manager um, tries to use it itself. And then we should see some problems based on that. Um, so what we're going to call this, let's do, well, let's grab what have we got here? We've got that's returning nil and error. So that's all going to have to it's going to have to be slightly different, but we're going to do something like that. Yeah. Let's try 
should I use refactor tools here? I'm not really, I don't tend to use um, these things. We're going to call it um, let's call it it oh well this is one of the reasons why I don't do it then Init schema. Should I call that DB schema to make it super clear? Yeah. Just in nah, don't need that DB. Do that. Okay. Alright. Let me out. Change that. I think it got a little bit confused with me having um, Vim mode on. I think it confused the uh, refactoring a bit there. So, uh, in theory, why is it passing in, in an error? Okay, I don't need that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. See, this is the thing. I should have just taken it out. Right, let's do this. Don't need that. Just want to pass in the database. And if we do that, we do that. And then here. That should be nil. And then that should do that. And in here, we just don't need to pass in an error. Uh, we don't need to pass back a manager. Need to assign that. Make sure we return now here. Set the schema there. Return an error if there's a problem inserting. Same again for creating the snippets table. Okay. So, init schema, passed in a database. Create table settings. Check for error. Return the error if there is one. Insert into that settings table the current schema version, which we're not passing in. That's what we should be passing in. Hmm.
Maybe I should just do individual little functions that check and do the thing. Okay, this is brand new, so let's do schema version as a int. Okay, so if there is no schema version, we completely shortcut everything and just create it from scratch. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So we now have a function that we can use in tests to shortcut stuff. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Okay. Um... I guess we should probably just quickly run the tests. Uh, da, da, da. Make sure that hasn't broken anything. Nope. Okay. So now let's go break things. I should want to just take. Take a copy of that. Test new manager. Um, schema exists. So create a database, make sure it doesn't go bang. With a defer now, don't we? We don't need to do that. Need to do this. Then 
button. Don't want to get an error, in theory, or not. From in its schema, it's in the DB. And have I got a uh, reference to that schema version? I have. So can I just reference that? I can't, can I? Because it's lowercase. So what? So if if I try this, no, don't want that. I want snippet. Yeah, it's not going to do anything there. But if I change this, to public make sure that's okay now do schema version yes okay um right so Yeah, just wondering whether I should do that. Whether the um, init schema needs to have that passed in, because that is actually a global as such to the module. Don't need to do that, do I? When would I need to init the schema? But it would have a later version or a different version. That would only really be the case if Maybe there were settings or something that needed to be there. But in that case, I'd be defaulting them. And then any upgrades later have to pick them up, have to create them themselves anyway. Yeah, okay, that's... Yeah. So, I don't need to make that public just yet. What I do need to do... Let's take that out. Because init schema should just take it from the module level. I don't need to do that. I need to pass it in. It's already getting it from up there. It's fine. Okay. Um, so that doesn't need to do that. I 
that should not produce any error. And then same again, really. I don't think we need to do anything there because we don't need anything from the manager. We already passed in the database, we really know. Yeah, we can just discard the manager there. We don't need it. Just want to make sure we don't get any errors back. Okay, so in theory. Once we've made the changes, <laughs> um, it should not fail, but it will fail just now. Because we don't have anything to say, oh, the schema already exists. Yeah. So, um, exit status one error table settings already exists. Okay, that's what we accept, expected. Yeah. A bit tired this morning for some reason. I think I actually got too good at night's sleep. Um, right. So we now need to do the work to check for a database table. Well, all we really need to do is we already know the database exists because we've done the ping check. What we need to do is select from the settings table, the schema. If that fails, we can assume the current schema version is zero. I think. Yeah. Well, we'll give it a go. We can always update later. I just want to do a bare minimum here. So. Um, we're going to do very similar query to the get snippet. We're just going to do a scan effectively. Uh, so we can basically grab that and um, change it. We've already got an error. We're going to select set in value from settings. Where set in key. equals schema version. Don't need to prepare on that. And we will scan. Should we scan directly into um, 
Run skip noch. So, that okay. So, if um, if the error is a uh, no rose, then we're good, we don't care. So actually what we want to do here is if, all right, we can just do an and here. So yeah, and there is not equal to no rows and return the error because something's gone really wrong. No, that's not right. Ha. Huh. Yeah, we don't really want to do... We don't care about any error here. Good point. If if the table doesn't exist, we assume schema version zero. If yeah, if the table exists but returns zero schema version records. then someone's mucked about with it. And we should just assume schema version zero and try and do the schema in it. If it works, we should in theory get schema version 160 back at the moment. And skip the init schema. So we don't actually care about the error there. We just care about trying to get the schema version. I think. See what happens. There might be. Do I need to do that as well there? No. Right, so we don't care about the error. Okay. That might just work. It might not, but it might. It worked. Okay, cool. Right. Let's just throw a spanner in the works just to see. Right, let's change that to schema up to 
update. I'm just going to do that. Okay. Now. Let's do a different version of the test. That didn't work. Just grab the whole thing there. Schema I've had previous versions of the schema. So let's do Do what did I do? I did 150 or was it 130? Oh, I'll have to check. Yeah, um, Where did I do the schema changes here? Not there. Where did I do the database stuff? It's been settings. Nope. Settings manager then. Snippets manager. Here we go. All right. So the current one is 150. But. Yeah, I used to do that. Um, yeah. Upgrade database. Hmm, I could do that, couldn't I? If not exists. Forgot about that. Okay, but we need to deal with that then. So what we need is a test to 150 because we are changing things 
on the ID. Um, and then we also need to do a pre-150 to add the um, snippets, so the last used. So that happens before. And then we need to index on that as well, which I don't think I've done at the moment. I really should. Good point. Maybe that's the wrong way of doing things then. Now I want it to fail if if we get the version Yeah, I don't want to do the if not exist because we should know. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to do this here um, for the index, but I could probably just do it in the, in the schema itself, but... Yeah, I'll do that. I could use the same format that I did before, though. I could do create the table if it doesn't exist. Yeah, actually, that's that is actually a. Uh, Probably Oh no, okay, it's fine. I only had the two versions and so I started tracking settings from one fifty on because there was no reason to before that. So that was a new table, 150. I need to remember that. And 100 was actual snippets. It was like 1.0 basically. Oh, I'm running out of time already. It's a bit late starting. I'm not going to get this finished. Uh, okay, well, let's do is wrap up what we're working on here. So, we've got
Yeah, so. Do that. don't have Hmm. I could do the same. So I was actually querying the schema there. I need more thought about that, I think, because the way this library is going to work, you can't do quite the same thing as something else is created in the database. Potentially. Maybe it shouldn't. It might be that what we should do is say, hey, I want a database here. And the library opens it and therefore can check to see whether it exists and so on. Maybe I'm doing things slightly wrong here. Because that would make it easy for me to check. Say, oh, the file does not exist. It does not exist. Um, I need to bring it up from scratch. Or it does exist. In which case. Yeah, but I could just check the schema properly, couldn't I? Very quickly, let's do table exists uh, in the database. And we'll return a boolean or an error and the query is not that. It's that. And that's my little uh, reminder. I've got a stand up 
10 minutes, so I have to wrap up. That's the wrong thing. I don't want to do that. I want to do that. Actually, let's take to that. So we'll do a query. Seven table, and we'll get back the count. And then we'll do simple. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> Okay. Um just do a quick thing here. This might go away, this function, actually, I think. I might end up doing something very similar to what I did before. That pattern, anyway. So here we go. We need to put in some to-dos because I'm changing things up. Um, and have run out of time. So to-do. Um, use... Table exists to check. Oops. Uh, snippets exists. Do 
Okay. Use table. to do if snippets table exists where at schema version 100 At least at schema version 100. Okay, so that's just the other mind of what I'm going to do. Uh, because I have run out of time, big time. Yeah, we'll leave that broken. So remember. Okay. Right, well, I've definitely run out of time now. Um, so uh, thanks for watching, um, but until next time, uh, you take care.